Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you the, the this uh, build of with Daybreaker for Corrupted Dungeons. I'm not too very good with it, but uh, I I wanted to try to see if I have any re good results with it. Uh, I de I died several times until I got used to at least playing it. But Overall, I think it's a decent build and it's a good counter uh, for the fire staffs that you find in uh, in the mists. Uh, I don't have a lot of specs in it, as I don't have a lot of specs in uh, spears. As you can see, I only have a regular spear and spirit hunter and I just grinded daybreaker to 68 I had zero when I started but uh, I, I just put some uh, fame credits in it so the build goes like this first Q and now for the W it depends what you're fighting if you're fighting a sword you go with cripple if you're fighting a fi fire or something with uh, high DPS you go with uh, deflecting spin if you want to deal damage you go with impaler uh, and uh, if there's uh, they are kiter builds like badons, warbo, arcane, you go with harpoon. I'm using the second uh, passive, and then I go reflect on uh, helmet and assassin jacket. I go with inferno shield um, most of the times, but you can also go with amb ambush, rejuvenating sprint on boots, rose pork, and heal pots. And as swaps for uh, PvE, you, I have some poison potions and uh, catfish. You can also go with cabbage soup. Uh, a total price of the build it's around 75k, let's say. If you buy order it, you can go with a lower price, around 60, maybe maybe less. So yeah, this is the build, uh, and I have some fights. I'm also <laughs> I also died to Bernstorm. He's uh, a, a very good YouTuber, <laughs> but I just I got so lost when I saw him. <laughs> I was like, I'm I'm a big fan of him, so yeah, he just killed me, chased me, and killed me. <laughs> I messed up a lot there. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you enjoy, and maybe you can grab uh, this build, and uh, you can use it in corrupted dungeons.